blow your fucking ice plums up. You move, you die. Hello and welcome to another video from Rainbow Six Siege. Love this game. Came out of nowhere. Absolutely fantastic multiplayer game. Every game is different. There's action, it's visceral. The audio on the weapons is brilliant. And here we are in game trying to do realistic mode. And I tell you what, it's fucking hard. Well, level five's hard. As you get up to about level four, it starts, the pressure comes on a little bit. Slightest little round will take you out. Obviously, the friendly fire's on. And what makes it interesting in this actual game is that we're on the jumbo. So it's close quarters, you've got to watch your angles, watch where you're firing, don't take out your teammates, and so forth. Listen to me, ginger bollocks. You fucking move from there, yeah, and you get a shotgun at the back of your head, do you understand me? I'll blow your fucking ice plums off. You move, you die. <clears throat> right, so let's get these doors blocked off. And uh, my actual character here is the... Um, good character, that's all. I've got the name of it now. Basically, I can put booby traps on these doors. It stops the enemy coming in. And wave five comes in pretty quick, but it's nothing really to be worried about at this stage. And I've also got some barbed wire down here. I've got two of those, and I get three uh, laser bombs that I can put on defense walls. And I'm going to put these up here. Meaning there are only certain characters that can actually breach this wall now. Uh, Thermite and... What's the other one? There's a couple that can knock these down. Otherwise, they can breach normal walls. And as each round goes, if you refill, I think you get one more to lock these walls off. And of course, they can come through the ceilings and everything else. So I'm just checking here, thinking about if they're coming in, how we're going to slow them down. And uh, I'm just going to pull this back down and go through. Or shall I stay in this room? thing is, with this, it's not... Whoops. It worried me then. I thought the enemies were coming in. Nine enemies left. The thing is, with, at this stage, it's not too bad. As you get further in, you really do need to stay together. So let's see what happens on this round one. So round one, nothing really to worry about. Let the bodies hit the floor. You can see lots of blood there. So I'm just going to keep barricading these. It just slows them down slightly. And I'll get another booby trap on there. So uh, I'm just going to get some body armor. One of the characters has put this down. And uh, gives me an extra, as you can see, down at the bottom. Oh, you bollocks. Remember what I told you, yeah? You fuck, yeah? I'll shoot me gun up your fucking ass. You listen to me, yeah? I told you, you move, you run. You fucking fast and I'll know about it. I'll blow your bollocks off. You hear me, ginger nuts? Right. So here we are on round two. As you can see, these guys are putting the armor on the walls. Very quite quite tight in here now. Well, I'm going to stay here because the only way they can get to this wall, actually to my back now, is using the thermite. Oh, it's starting to kick off a little bit. Let's just see what happens in this wave two. Shouldn't be too bad, actually. Now, as you can see, I was putting a marker down there, which you press with your C key. Um, not many people seem to, to do this in-game. It tells the rest of your team where some of the enemy are. It's really useful to get used to pressing C. And another thing I'm going to give you a little tip here. I've seen a lot of noobs doing this now is when they go down, right, they don't give the injured person time to get out of that doorway or the line of fire. They come up, they try to heal, and you both get killed. It's common sense, really. I mean, I've been playing the game quite a lot now, so it's just one of those things that you pick up. Also, at the beginning, sometimes when you're going to breach a room, 
if you know it's on multiplayer, especially and you think there's somebody on the other side of the door, chuck a smoke under or a flashbang under the door before you put your breaching charge on. Otherwise, they can hear you, they can see your feet, and they can shoot through the wooden doors. A lot of people get killed that way. So you've got to think clever, yeah? Think of it as you've only got one life. So think on, lads, and you're going to last a lot longer. So here we are. We're getting ready for preparation level three. The heat is starting to increase slightly now. As you can see up at the top, I've got the most health. These guys have been uh, running straight into the fire. And at this stage, we may start to get suicide bombers. You'll hear them with like a shh. This means they're coming, so usually you want to get the fuck out of the way before they come in. So let's see what, happen what happens in this. Wave 3, we're nearly getting to wave 5. Are we going to make it? Well, we're, we're going to see, aren't we? We're going to see. Ginger Bollocks is still there. I'm going to get some more barbed wire down and get ready for 12 enemies. Unrealistic at wave 3. You're shitting me. You're shitting me again. Down to the last bloody thing. And you know what? I, I tried to crawl out and get that last guy, get him revived. And I thought at that range of the shot, he would have blown his ass off. But no. Defeat again. I will get this in the end. I'm telling you now. It's going to happen. You'll see. Got our faith. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, lads. I shall see you in the next Rainbow Six video. Bye-bye.